Hey guys, this is Counter-Stories 3 here with another toy review. This time it is on uh, another custom-made figure. Uh, about the next uh, four reviews will probably be on custom-made figures. Um, yeah. About four review. Um, next four. There may be um, a review on a non-custom-made figure somewhere in between there, but as of now it's four custom-made reviews. So yeah, uh, this is an original kaiju made by me, and it is uh, name. Its name is Carnivorcron, and um, I think I did a really good job on it. The paint job looks really, really good. It he really turned out nice. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and just explain uh, what the different parts are from. Uh, the arms, the head, and the legs are from a Batman toy, and the body right here, oh yeah, and these little fins right here are also from the Batman toy, but right about here, um, the head's right here, and it ends right here, um, the arms and legs, yeah, and then the fin is glued on here too. Um, the body is then, um, uh, the, uh, underbelly, uh, um, of uh, the pterodactyl toy I used for my, uh, just zoom out here, for my uh, custom made Gappa, the Trifibian monster toy, and I did finish all the paint job parts on it, and um, I put clay over his four uh, assholes, so yeah. He had four holes in his ass, and that just looked really awkward. And the clay stands out, but until I find something more suitable, that's going to stay like that. So, yeah. Just take out him. Um, I'm going to go over paint job. Uh, paint job. Um, this is one of my best uh, paint jobs I've ever done. Um... Uh, there is a lot of hot glue um, right here, but you can hardly tell because I did a really good job of painting it. And uh, yeah, you see the head ends right here, then you got hot glue, then the pterodactyl body. But just blends in so well. It is a green color, um, not sure what color of green, with black spots to give it a warty look. And then its eyes are colored white, its claws and its teeth and its toenails are yellow. The light really reflects off this, see? That's the light right there. And the mouth I painted red. I repainted the entire figure. Um, these were originally red, but they were a different color of, um, well, let me, yeah, these, um, two little red dots there were originally red, but I, uh, colored them a different red, so that's also changed, uh, he's in a hunt, a hunched position, and he looks like he could be able to jump really far, like, use his arms to push, and then boom, like a frog. So yeah, I think the phone's ringing. Huh. Oh well. Um, so yeah. Uh, detail. He's not really based off anything, so I say he's accurate. This is one of my favorite custom-made figures I have ever done. Um, here he is compared to 8-inch, uh, or 9-inch. Make it Godzilla on one of those two. So yeah. I already compared him to my uh, Gappa figure. Let me compare him to my Yungari figure, which is still in the works. Yeah, that's going to be Yungari. Based off the one from the remake and a little off the original. See, I made the nose horn bigger. It takes a lot of glue. The entire tail is made of glue. He's going to be fun to review. But yeah, I'm currently working on him. 
So yeah. I'm hoping to finish him either today or tomorrow. But anyway, back to him. Um, Carnivorous. Um, alright, Carnivorcron. Yeah. I'm still getting used to the name. So yeah. Um, he looks like a giant mutated frog, and I might go with that. Um, he kind of reminds me of Cloverfield and the host, and one of the parasites from Cloverfield almost. Also kind of reminds me of Gilman, uh, the one from Monster Squad, and if you've seen that movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, if you, and if you know of the Gilman, aka Creature from the Black Lagoon, you'll also know what I'm talking about, so yeah. Well, that's basically it for this review. Um, see you next time. Bye. I will be coming out with one more today. Bye.